Hey, this is Noah, and I'm Panda Bear, and I also play in a band called Animal Collective. Three Minutes Epiphany. Six Music. The appeal of the sampling process is just the possibilities of the stuff. You're not really limited to one flavor with the cooking of your music. The options are endless. It's literally just the construction of sounds when you're using sampling. So it's sort of that infinite flexibility that I enjoy most about it. The first time I got interested in sampling came from a record called The Unseen by Quasimodo. It was really the work of this producer named Madlib. And another record called Donuts by JD. I'm sure I'd heard a lot of music productions that used sampling before that, but those were really the records that the inventiveness of the usage of sounds and samples was overwhelmingly inspiring for me that I felt like I wanted to try my hand at that. Building a body of samples for an album, if I tried to conceive all of it before making the stuff, before really getting my hands dirty with the sounds, it would probably be pretty daunting and pretty overwhelming. The truth is that I kind of just step by step make the stuff. It happens really slowly for me. I'm not the kind of person who can really crank out music. Most of the stuff I do, a vast majority of the stuff that I do, I think is pretty, pretty lame and gets left behind in various stages of completion. The fact that it's just sort of slowly built up makes it seem a lot more manageable. I'd have a really hard time trying to blueprint the thing all out. All I do in the beginning is just sort of think about the stuff and dream about what it's going to be and how I'm going to play it live and maybe what the cover art is going to look like. The song titles I'll often think of beforehand, but after that I like to try to kind of feel it out from there. As far as what I'm looking for in a sample, it's really just something that kind of catches my ear, really pitting various things up against the rhythm, some noises and adding certain rhythmic elements to it to kind of make this rhythm machine sort of like a little music box. On the melodic side of things, it's really just like little earworms I'm looking for, little things that excite my ear, excite my imagination in some way. They're not always super immediate. Sometimes I feel like I'll have to hear a piece of music multiple times before I'll start to really kind of zone in on one little moment. I like to kind of get my hands dirty with the productions and really kind of crudely move around bits of audio and cut the audio samples kind of ruggedly. I don't like it when things are really perfectly synced, especially delays. I like when they're kind of slightly off. It gives the music a more kind of lively character when there's sort of this obvious sense that a hand was there constructing the stuff. As far as tips that I would give a young musician who was interested in the sampling process or in music production in general, is really just super simple. Just do it. Don't think about it too hard. Don't judge yourself on what you're doing. Just make stuff, have fun doing it. Do it as much as you can. And I think you'll find, you know, if you stop for a second after a little while, you'll see that you've progressed and improved a whole lot. Just try to find your own way with it. Try to find your own voice, do your own thing. Don't let your mind judge you and put a stop to what you're doing in any way. Just keep searching and keep looking and have fun overall. Hey, BBC Six, just wanted to say thanks a lot for the interview. I hope 
Hope all is well. Thanks very much.